Our genes are essentially an instruction manual for our body to grow and develop. For cardiovascular genetics, we're looking at the genes that are involved with the function of the heart. Specifically, we're trying to see if someone was born with a genetic difference or a genetic variant that would increase their risk of developing heart disease. A genetic counselor like myself would go through your personal medical history, your family's medical history, and determine what type of genetic testing would make the most sense for you. Genetic testing is done on either a blood sample or a saliva sample. We send that off to a genetic testing laboratory. It takes them about two weeks to read through the genes and issue a report. And once we have that, a genetic counselor like myself would um, look at the report and contact the patient to discuss the results and how the results um, affect that patient and their family members. In many cases, insurance will actually cover the test now if there are appropriate risk factors. But even when genetic testing is denied, there are really um, generous financial assistance programs out there. The great thing about our genetic counseling appointments is we will go over the potential cost of the test before we send it off, so there should be no surprise um, about the cost of the test ultimately. In general, we recommend cardiovascular genetic testing to families that tend to have the same or similar types of heart disease in multiple relatives. You know, we're not checking most people's hearts every couple years, but if we know you have a genetic predisposition to develop a specific type of, of heart disease, we're gonna be looking for it ahead of time. In most cases, the results can actually be reassuring. And in general, the earlier we find something, the better we can treat it.